All right, guys, it's now over four o'clock. I think it's like 4.30. I haven't eaten any food yet. Just drinking some water today, a little bit of water. And uh, now it's time to eat. So let's go get some food, man. Let's go get some food. First, I get a little bit of water. It's good to go into your first meal properly hydrated. Unless, of course, your meal is like, you know, some melon or something. It's super, super juicy. But if I'm unable to get some super, super juicy food, I don't really mind what I have now. Um, when you're ready for food on a fruit diet, you don't crave certain specific things like you do on a cooked food diet. When, you, when you're ready to eat on a fruit diet, you typically just desire something either like dense or juicy. And uh, typically the longer you go without food, the more light and juicy the food you want is. Whereas on a cooked food diet, the longer you go without food, the more heavy and like rich the food you want is. Just to try and knock out that hunger, but on a fruit diet, it's more of a desire to eat. Uh, addicts crave, lovers lust, and I lust for fruit. So I want something nice, juicy. Whether it's sweet or not doesn't matter either. Like I could happily have a cucumber right now, but it's definitely time to eat. Check out these jackfruit, huh? Look at all those. Fruit Fest hooks up, man. Fruit Festival hooks up fat. So see what's available, if anything. Should be something. Let's see, let's see what we can get. Hey bro, do you know where I can get a little bit of something something? Is there something, there, something? Bro, right there. That's it? Right there? That's where it's at. Like, that's for everyone? Yeah. Like banana now? Yeah. No, like two hours now. Is there anything like banana, like a cucumber, a banana or something? Okay, cool, thanks. Thanks, bro. You as well. You look so healthy now, bro. That, I've been, I've been, I've been on your plan for the 16 months now, fully, on, just on the like you are. On the fruit plan? On the fruit plan. No cooked foods. No cooked foods. Nice. We're just talking about cooked foods. The difference between eating cooked and raw. What's the difference for you between eating cooked and raw? For me? Yeah. Life and death. Like it's, just, it's no joke. Like when I eat, when I eat cooked food, life sucks. When I eat raw, like I, I feel alive. Like when I feel cooked, I feel like poop smells. I feel dead, I feel sleepy, I feel depressed, but I eat raw, I feel like I'm on e-pills. You ever do e-pills? Imagine being on e-pills all the time. That's ecstasy. Ecstasy, ecstasy. It's awesome, like you're on bro. ecstasy all the time. You just get higher and higher and higher that's every it. day. That's and the only way to it. get off the ecstasy is to eat cooked food. And that's like when you come down, if you ever take an ecstasy, you, you feel good for a night, and then you, you wake up and you feel really, really terrible because it's a drug. You, you come down hard. And that's what cooked food does to you. Come down, boom. Boom. Sucks. So and, uh, you focus on the fruit, right? Focus on the fruit. Eat enough calories. That's I it, bro. veggies too. I'm a big fan of the veggies too. Well, but, that's all good if you like veggies. But uh, yeah, thank you for your inspiration, Ted. Thank I, uh, you for wait. thank you for supporting the uh, the fruit movement, bro. Thank you. I'm gonna go eat this apple now. Okay. Thanks, bro. You too. Is the John Slater? No, he's not. Okay. Stop by on the way. Is he coming? No, he's not. He's at school. Right. See ya. Let's eat this apple, man. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Really good, bro. I see Carl Ross up there, a wild Carl Ross appeared. Look at that guy. Huh? Dude, you look at this tall. You're here, bro. All pretty and proper. Dude, you're responsible. You gave me that gift in Thailand. You gave me some money and a flashlight. Did that help out? Dude, that's the only reason I'm here, man. You serious? Why? Man. You just helped yeah. screw it on something? Yeah, man. Good shit, man. Yeah. Well, say hi to YouTube. Hey, YouTube. I'm Carl Rod Ross. 
Carl Ra Ross, the real deal, man. Follow him on Facebook. He posts some real cool shit often. Yeah, I'm taking a bit of a break though. I had a bit of a scare in Australia. I had surgery. It was crazy, man. I'm like, whoa. I can't believe you're here. You took some. Whoa. Dude, I know, what happened? Right? What happened? You know, being a fruitarian doesn't cure everything. Uh, this... you, got, you got a baby? They had a cousin baby? Oh, actually, that's funny. You guessed that. It's from uh, my umbilical cord. There's some tissue left over, and it was like wrapped around my intestines, and maybe a bit of. I was under a lot of stress, and it. It, it like cut circulation off and part of my what? intestines died. I've never so, heard of that, bro. So they had to take out that much of my small intestine and it was like something from birth. It was crazy. You know, really that happened. Yeah, I'm like just well enough to be here, man. It's been crazy. Well, I'm glad you're here, bro. Yeah, you did that. I can go get another apple. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, man. Are you volunteering? Yeah, man. Cool. I'll we'll see you around. Yeah, cool. That's beatbox, huh? Oh, yeah. Cool. Best, one of the best beatboxers I know. Oh, really cool being here, man. Really cool. How are you? Good. Are you filming? I'm filming. It's good to be back with family, hey? Yeah. Amazing. Uh, my partner, Todd. Hello, Todd. I'm Ted. Are you Ted? Todd, Ted, Ted, Ted. Cool. I just talked to a Todd on the phone yesterday, actually. It's pretty funny. Oh, yeah? I'm going to head down to the water, maybe dip my feet Is it in. open? Like, Looks open. Go in? She's going in, or that person's going in. All right. <laughs> At least a little bit, up to my toes. Mmm. G7X, right here. It's the best one, bro. Yeah. 